Banana peels, coffee grounds, and eggshells are all things you may toss straight into your trash bin. But now the city of Madison has a new place for you to put them with conservation in mind. Tahalil Mohadeen joins us with those details. For years, the city of Madison has been working to reduce food waste. Just last summer, the Madison Common Council adopted a resolution meant to advance sustainable food systems. And now, a new grant from the USDA is helping put those interests into practice. It's not icky. It's actually part of the circle of life. Stacy Reese is excited to take a new step towards minimizing food waste in the community. We've already had a lot of residents reach out and ask us questions, so we're, we're thinking we're going to have a lot of participation, which is great. Next week, the city is set to launch its Food Scraps Recycling Program as part of an effort to divert 50% of food waste from the Dane County landfill by 2030. Our landfill has limited space. Right now, 20% of all waste at the landfill is food waste, the biggest contributor. Putting those nutrients away from the landfill and back into our soil to help grow um, new fruits and vegetables. To address the problem, city leaders are working with local farmers. I had Neighborhood Food Solutions actually reach out to City of Madison um, looking for uh, sources for their compost. And they say it's not just farmers who would benefit. It can help you save money by reducing food waste in the first place through proper meal planning. Um, and also it's helpful for the environment. Um, organic material releases methane, which is a contributor to climate change. With food scraps drop-off sites at both the McPike Park and South Madison Farmers Markets, city leaders are hoping by moving away from limited curbside collection, they won't have issues with cross-contamination. At these Farmers Market drop-off sites, we will actually have staff from Sustain Dane that will be at the tables to help uh, residents know if their materials that they're bringing are the right materials that can then be taken to the urban farm uh, for soil remediation. And if things go well there, they say they'll likely look to expand the program throughout the city. City leaders say the farmer's market drop-off sites model a program implemented in Baltimore, which was very successful. The Food Scraps Recycling Initiative will kick off on Tuesday.